What is up, everybody? Keith Jameson, go back here, guy, 231 across the TV industry. It is Monday. Yeah, here I am. Not talking Champions League. We have EPL this week with Champions League off. The leagues are all squeezing in extra games. So we have an interesting little two game EPL site. I'm looking forward to it. I think the builds are, are kind of fun. So we've got Newcastle hosting Norwich, and then we have Leeds hosting Palace. So teams not with a huge name recognition, but I think some really, you know, a couple of just stone locks in your lineup. And then, you know, for your GPP people out there, a lot of differentiation you can do. I'll talk about all that. Just a quick reminder, like, subscribe, comment. Really helps. Makes it worth getting these videos out during the week. I'm going to try to get something out for every slate. Then on the Saturday and... You know, I think the that Blenderhead called this uh, soccer out the ass type of time of year, and we're definitely getting there. So um, hopefully we can all cash, do well, and it makes it all worth it. So let's start with Newcastle hosting Norwich. I, I think that that's the more important of the two games from a uh, DFS perspective. So for Newcastle, they're the biggest favorite in the state, like minus 106, two and three quarters total. This is like beyond a must win. Uh, for all the new ownership, all the money put in for Eddie Howe, the new manager, just all the places at home at St. James's Park, which is a great place for them to play. They have a huge advantage there in this type of fixture. Like, this is a must win three points. So, I say that all of that just to point towards I really like Newcastle, not just because the odds, it's only a slight favorite, like minus 106. Like, that's not a huge favorite, but just because everything is pointing to them, like, needing to show up huge here. So cover of this video is Ryan Frazier, 4.8. Matt Ritchie is suspended. Even when Matt Ritchie was in, Ryan Frazier, who I should mention, huge connection to Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe brought him into Bournemouth. Eddie Howe, he flourished under Bournemouth. Um, was an absolute DFS dream there. You know, it was like 9,000 by the end of his time. Um, he's going to have no competition for sets because Ritchie was really the competition. He took over John Joe Shelby. And he's like 4.8K. He's going to be playing like a left wing back role. He used to do phenomenal as a left winger for Bournemouth. I think if you, you entered 100 lines into the GPP, I don't even know if you can do that many. He should be in 100. Like that, He's that big of a lock on this slate. So Ryan Frazier is your must play. Just massive misprice. You know, if he was 8,000, I'd be talking to you about how he was a must play. So at 4,800, I mean, it's no question. I think the big thing for Newcastle is what you do after there. I think that... Not, not to play spoiler, but Rafinha is going to be one of your two forwards, and that's going to be close to like 100% ownership too, especially in cash. GPP, you know, his price is recent fade. But I think the second forward, you can make a strong argument, should come from Newcastle, whether it's Alan St. Maximin, who's an awesome DFS player. Look at his game logs. You're not going to think that that's the case, but it's the truth. Um, you know, nice, draws people on takes on people, you know, I want to say last year he had a three or four assist game, just has some really nice upside, you just go for the goal, like if you get a goal notification, it's probably going to be Callum Wilson as a striker, also on PKs, um, or if in, I think from a GPP perspective, I really um, like the idea of, oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking on Joe Ellington, okay, I'm like, who's so what's the Brazilian guy's name, Joe Ellington, I really like the thought of playing him. Um, he's definitely shown the ability to be, um, you know, to have upside. I remember somebody sending this to me that Joe Ellington as a winger is how he played in the Bundesliga and was super successful. When Newcastle tried to make him a striker, it didn't go too well. So if you see him playing with Callum Wilson, that's a huge advantage for him. So I really like Joe Ellington. And then Jacob Murphy um, as a wing back, I think is a really solid floor. Other play, just to mention, John Joe Shelby. I think he's going to be a really popular cash at 4.4K. No, he doesn't have sets like he did two games ago, but John Joe Shelby is a guy that will take a shot from anywhere. Um, you know, actually has a little bit of, of open play value, even from a center midfield spot. So I think um, just given the price and the lack of other like good value plays, he'll be pretty popular. So that's the Newcastle side from Norwich. Um I don't want to get too crazy. I think Milo Rashika is going to be pretty popular as a second forward cash option. He's the only other forward on the site that we can give set pieces to. So I think he makes a ton of sense. I may end up going there despite my Newcastle love. Uh, he's just such a good DFS friendly player, crosses the ball a ton. I like him to shoot more, but he gives you a really nice floor. 
uh, just, you know, you're paying for it. I, I guess that's the biggest thing is if, you know, you don't think Newcastle is going to score here. Let's say that you're playing Dubrovka. You know, even though the floor is there, it still might be worth fading because, you know, you can make up a 10 to 11. I, and I think that's even generous. I was going to say 10 to 11 DK floor. You know, his floor is probably like 7 or 8, which is really nice, but you can easily make that up, especially at his price tag. So don't feel like you have to jam him in. He likely split set pieces with Billy Gilmore. Um, you know, if you think this is a high-scoring game or this game gets kind of crazy, punching a ticket to the Pookie party, he should have scored like once or twice last week versus Wolves. Would have been big for me in GPP, but, uh, you know, I, I think he always makes some sense. You know, he's on their PKs. But outside of that, Norwich isn't like all that great for DFS. They're playing a lot better than Dean Smith, just a lot more shape, a lot more control, which also kind of means that sometimes the DFF out, DFS value can go down too. We kind of want them to be wild and crazy and open so the game can get crazy it can just blow up so yep i think that that covers that game well other game leads hosting palace let's just start out with leads uh rafinha and ryan frazier are the two locks of the slate um i think rafinha is like 10 7 doesn't matter you know rafinha's this year always gets their guy he's going to always threaten double digits especially at home like away games you always to be a little bit careful but especially at home He's just going to pretty much walk onto the pitch with double digits, split sets. Sometimes it takes a monopoly. I actually don't know, based on who's on, if he'd be on PKs, but, you know, he could be. Um, you know, I think it's a Klitsch win in. You know, I think Bamford otherwise. I, I don't have it on me, but you're playing him regardless. I think where, you know, we'll, and I, the other four play I should mention from Leeds, I really like Stuart Dallas. Um, he's just another always gets their guy. Like, whether he has sets or not, normally he's splitting with Rafinha. But, you know, you just look, whether he's playing fullback, winger, center midfielder, you're just like 8, 10, 15, 12, no goal or assist. Like, he, and he's always underpriced. So I really like Stuart Dallas here for a floor play. Um, Jack Harrison is fine. You know, he has a little bit of sub risk, but, you know, he's crossing the ball a lot. Daniel James, I think, is potentially going to be fairly popular. I just think, think it would be a really good fade if he's playing as like, up top as like a striker or even playing in the hole. Um, he has that one game that he just absolutely went nuclear. But otherwise, for for uh, for Leeds, it's been pretty underwhelming, um, even as a big, big signing. So, you know, I think he's fine. But if he's going to get higher, highish owned, you know, he could be a good fade. Other forward, if in, Rodrigo, certainly in play. I think I'd probably play for the Newcastle guys if I'm going to go with, like, a no-floor guy and just shoot for a goal. I think I'm more on Newcastle. Um, the fullbacks for our junior four pro of starting is terrible for DFS. Now, now I'd say he'll score or get an assist, but, you know, don't, don't fall for that bait. Um, on Palace, uh, their sets suck. Um, if it's Suka Mojosevic, I knew better last week. Like, I, or what was it, like, three days ago? I knew better. I, I even said it here. Playing a guy like Milicevic or Jao Matinho, it's just a recipe to lose your money. And I freaking did it anyways. I wanted to say another word, but I don't want uh, YouTube to take down the video or or give us a little, at FSI, a little bit of slap on the wrist for us, you know, being uh, family friendly or whatever, or whatever the status is. I think I already said soccer out the ass, but I think, uh, I think ass is acceptable. <laughs> I don't know. What a random tangent I'm having. Anyhow, uh, who was I talking about? Uh, Luka Mojosevic. Like, I knew better. So, he he raised in price. So, 5,100, no no freaking chance. Like, no way. Uh, just just don't do it. Even if he has a, has a route to Monopoly. Which, like, if you didn't see Olise, who was in there, I think that's how you say it, this weekend, you know, that made sense that that was going to be a split. Freaking did it anyways. 3,900, I'm just like, all right, he can, he can get to 5DK. Like, why, why, why are you... Sorry, I'm, I'm ranting to myself, tangenting myself, but, like, I, I just don't understand why I'm playing somebody that I'm, like, all right, get me to 5DK. Like, that's such a terrible mindset to go into it. Like, how about play a guy that can get me 15DK? That's a much better route. Luka Mojo said, I'm just never doing that. So, all right, don't play him at 5.1. Uh, I, I think he might have some ownership in cash because he's on sets, but uh, I, I just don't trust it. Um, I'd much rather, like, the Palace pieces, to me, are just mostly, like, a little bit out of out of touch, I guess. Um, you know, I think Zaha is probably the one that I could default and go to. Connor Gallagher, I would love to play, but if you see Olise or if you see Milosevic, and Connor Gallagher isn't going to have set pieces, so he's just going to be overpriced at his price. Great player, but, you know, 
you're really pushing it for him to get there at that price. You'd just be better off going other routes. Um, you know, Edward, Benteke, GPP only. Fullbacks don't do a ton. So that's Ballas. That's the slate. I mean, I, I think I've kind of hit it in not, like, so many ways. You lock in Rafinha. You, um, you lock in uh, Ryan Frazier. Second forward is going to be where people are going to change up builds. I think the conservative route is going like a Rashika. More aggressive is like the Newcastle guys or the Leeds guys. Um, defender, I think Stuart Dallas is up there in terms of floor. Uh, you know, Jake with Jacob Murphy. The both of those are really nice options. You know, cash lamps maybe have a version of both of them, and, and then you just roll. So that'll do it. Hope that this helped. Um, as always, if you want more content, you know, you want to chat with us as lineups come out because everything I said here could just be completely thrown out the window if, if lineups are different. You know, if, if we don't get Ryan Frazier or, you know, you don't see Rafinha, like where do you go then? Um, you know, jump on board with a membership to FSI. Uh, it's an awesome community. Um, you know, we discuss all those things, show you set pieces, give you three core plays and then some ideas to move on around from there. So we'd love to have you aboard. Thank you all. Once again, for watching. And again, if you enjoyed this, this, even if you don't want to subscribe, like or subscribe to premium content, like, subscribe to this channel, and comment. It really helps. Also, uh, I should just say this. If you're still around, thank you for that. But have, it probably will be up tonight, have the first video of uh, like a DFS soccer basics that I'm going to be doing. And then hopefully get more advanced things. But I'm excited for that to get up hope that uh, everybody enjoys it so make sure you check that out and with that i'll say see you